Hey, what are your thoughts afterwards? Well, I'm still still calming down. What time is it? Quarter past five. So you know, still still trying to take it all in. Roller coaster of emotions, obviously. Um, more so because you've got people behind you in the stand telling you what's going on elsewhere, and you know, and then you then you get some false information, then you get some real information, and it's just you're trying to concentrate on a game. But um, you know, disappointed that we haven't gone on to win the game when you know with the, with the numerous opportunities we've had to score a goal today disappointed we haven't won it but really really pleased in the um, just the desire and the, the attitude to make sure that um, when everything else is going on around us the, the team are focused on it to make sure that you know we get something out of the game which was a point um, you know Adam with two outstanding saves, you know, from that distance, from penalties to make them saves under immense pressure, he's just, you know, unbelievable, really. And to stick at it, you know, we, we we threw the kitchen sink at it second half, trying to get that goal because we knew what was going on elsewhere. Um, at one point, drawing shoreline, then then leading, obviously, and and then we needed to win the game, so we threw caution to the wind a little bit and have four strikers on the yeah. pitch, um, you know, and and then. It just goes from one, you know, from one scenario to another. In terms of the game, um, I thought we played well first half. Played really well. Played some decent stuff. Um, moved the ball quickly. Um, should have made more of our goal scoring opportunities. Ben's had a couple of real guilt edge chances that he's hit the target with. Their keepers made two outstanding saves. Um, pleased to go in nil nil because obviously they had the conditions mm-hmm. and the wind and it was a difficult wind to play in. But second half, I thought we looked edgy, really nervous and edgy, and we looked tired. We looked really tired and didn't really play the fast flowing football with the width that we got on the pitch that I wanted, um, which I thought would have opened them up. Having said that, created numerous opportunities again and, you know, Ahmed's chance, Ben's chance, the the, I don't, the, the deflection that hits the bar, yeah. there's just been Dacus. no, yeah, Dacus chance. There's been no end of opportunities to, to win the football match. And Adam's not really had anything else to do but the two penalty saves. So, you know, we've we thrown the kitchen sink out. I think we can play better second half. Like I said, I think probably a little bit leggy um, and and nervous because of the situation. But all in all, point. Happy days. It feels strange that it's ended up nil nil with everything that happened in the game and everything that was happening elsewhere. So I forget that, that no one scored in the end. Yeah, yeah. So we had a nil nil. You know, there's that much going on. It was noisy and, and really, really loud. I was trying to get information onto the to the players it was difficult. You know, and. We changed shape three times second half to try and mm. force the issue and to get that information on is difficult. So you're giving the information to the subs to take on. Um, you know, the penalty saves and then we got the other end and have a chance. It was just just a, just manic, just a real weird game, you know, and, and one that if we'd have scored, obviously with with results elsewhere, we'd have gone on to, to win the league. But you know, we haven't we've got a point. Results gone elsewhere for us. Um you know, and we, we we have a little look Tuesday night, see what happens, and then and go to Colwell next week, knowing a result will, you know, um, will win us the league. And you mentioned Adam's two penalty saves, but the, the second one, he, he then sort of made it not exactly a second save, but clawed it away. It was just yeah. It was well, it was, I mean, the first penalty save, um, I thought was excellent because mm. he stayed up as late as he could, and it's although the penalty penalty wasn't brilliant in the corner, he makes a good save, real good save. Um, second one straight at him, but you you, you know, it's, it took power, and like you say, the second. Uh, attempt to, to flip yeah. the ball away is fantastic because it's otherwise a little nod into the goal, um, and, and and you know under immense pressure it's 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 brilliant from him and he he's been superb all season. Let's be honest, and you know he's had a couple of bips here and there that we we take him out of the firing line against Tividale, but no qualms about putting him back in because that's what he gives you. He's an excellent excellent shot stopper. Um, but apart from that, he's had he's had very little to do. Adam second half especially. Yeah. You know, for for long periods, um, because we've got the conditions and the wind, you know, we've we've had plenty of ball. Don't think we've really done enough with it in terms of keeping possession, building up pressure, and and taking our chances. I think a lot of our chances came from them giving the ball away. Two v ones down the side with Levi and Alex flashes flashing the ball across the box, but not really making the opportunities count. Um, and I don't think second half we built up play enough, kept the ball enough. And, and put them under pressure enough, really. Um, ben Hazley did seem to do everything but score today. Yeah, he all, uh, yeah. had some really good build-up play and some great yeah, chances. Especially there. first half. I mean, yeah. the one-on-one in the first ten minutes, great save. Then the ball from Josh Cutler that puts that puts Ben in. You know, and he 
does what he does best, gets into the box, and then chops inside, toe pokes it, the keeper blind really, makes a great save. And then second half, I think it was Ben's shot that it deflected and hit the bar, wasn't it? So yeah. Yeah. on another day, you could have that trick, you know, um, you know, we'd be winning comfortably. Um, obviously thanking Adam for making his two saves, but winning comfortably from the, the chances we've had. We haven't, you know, it, <laughs> It's never going to run smoothly here, is it? It just isn't. And um, the course of the championship, but it won't run smoothly because Shoreline are, you know, a top side, top top side. They keep churning out results. So do we, and it goes right to the wire. I suppose if you couldn't win the title today, you want you wanted it to have it in your own hands going into next week. Exactly, and exactly right, got. exactly right. And that was that was the information we were trying to get onto the pitch. Don't throw it away. You know, we we, we chased the game towards the end a little bit because the information I was getting from behind me, you, you know, so a draw would have, you know, we needed to win the football match, whatever. More so when we knew Shaw Lane were winning. Um, but there was a clear message to the players right from the start. Really, we didn't, you know, didn't need to go gong ho. You know, more often than not, we create chances at home, a lot of chances, and we take them, hence the amount of wins we've had. So we didn't need to go gong ho and do things that we don't usually do just because of the situation. And I don't think we did that. I thought we were, you know, we had a good shape about it, especially first half, kept the full-backs narrow, um, played Tilly and Levi very narrow, just ensuring that the game didn't get away from us. And it yeah. didn't, you know, and, and, I, and I think as the game progressed, we got more of a foothold in it. I just would have liked just to have, play, to have played a little bit more expansive football when we had the ball in the final third. Just lastly, then we were expecting it to go to the last um, day of the season, but obviously, um, Sean Lane have got a game um, against Tiverdale on Tuesday night. Yeah. You expect them on paper that looks like Sean Lane would win that, but they're not in the greatest form at the moment. Well, I, Lane, I, they? well no, they're not. No, they've dropped. You know, they're dropping points, but they're grind, they're grinding out mm. results. They're getting points, which you know, which is clear as well. When you're not in the best of form, they'll be tired as well. They'll be leggy like us. Um, I don't know how Tiverdale have gone on today. I don't know whether I think they're lost. So, that, so but they were they were drawing. If they're relegated. I don't. I don't. I haven't looked at the results. So you know, if they if they're not, then they go up there with um, you know, something to play for. They got goal scorers. They got pace. You know, they can cause teams problems like they did to us here. So um, we'll sit and watch. But you know, I'm quite sure it'll go down to probably the 95th minute next Saturday. <laughs> I'm quite sure of that. You know, nothing like I say, nothing runs smoothly at this football club. Nothing runs smoothly for me. Well, you know, so, let's take it. Do you think? Sorry? Will your nerves take it? Well, it, I, I've got to be honest today, it, it just, it's just gone back and forth and it's really difficult to try and keep your emotions in check and, mm. and, and a level head for the, to make sure you're making the right decisions for the game. But, you know, slightest bit of luck today and we've won the league. Mm. But, but, you know, slightest bit of luck the wrong way next week and we, we could be in the playoffs. That's how, that's how close it is. So we just keep doing what we're doing. I think, you know, since the chase down results, um, we've bounced back really well. Had two real strong performances, scored some goals, and then solid point today. So in terms of the season as a whole, finishing the last home game, you know, 20, 29 wins, seven draws, five or six defeats, something like that. Fantastic uh, form, really throughout the season. Mm. Not really been a blip in any, any, any part of the season, and then to round it off with a, a gate of twelve hundred and seventy, yeah, something like that. Perfect, it's yeah. just. Um, it's amazing, isn't it, for the level of football, and they, and they really tried to stop the ball into the net second half. Um, they did all they can, and they, you know we thank them for that. It was amazing support. Um, just hope they back us next week at Colwell as well. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. No Cheers worries. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.